Sorry friends, in this video I would like to demonstrate for you the S Drive Max device. It was designed by KBR and it emulates Atari disk files and cassette player. You put inside a micro SD card with all your Atari files, image files, and boot the Atari computer, select the file you would like to uh, run, and this device will emulate the hardware. The device, the S Drive Max, is based on an Arduino. You simply uh, get the Arduino board and the LCD screen. You can flash the Arduino board with the S Drive Max firmware, solder four wires to a, an SIO port that you can uh, print yourself. Just use another diode, just uh, solder three point and uh, one diode. And you could uh, put it inside a 3D uh, printed case to make it nice and uh, connect it to the computer. If you would like to connect the S Drive Max with a ser in serial to other devices and not just directly to a computer, you, can, you just need to add a small mod, uh, which is just one logic chip and uh, two resistors, another uh, four wires of soldering inside the uh, to the board, and you can connect those in serial. So let's see how it works. I've connected my S drive um, Max to an SIO splitter because the short, it, it has a short wire and I would like just to bring it to the front of the camera from, for some times. I could connect it directly to the second port, uh, SIO port of the disk drive or tape player and connect the disk drive to the computer so they could work to, together. And let's boot the Atari computer. As soon as you boot the Atari computer, you load to a menu Assuming that you have a file called sdrive.atr on the root of the uh, micro SD card. And if you have that, you can go and navigate from the Atari computer, select the ATR file you would like to mount to the drive one, uh, this drive one, and then just boot the Atari computer. And the game or the HR image will boot from the S Drive Max to the, to the machine. You could also navigate and select ATR files from the S Drive Max touchscreen. Just simply select another file, click OK, and it will be mounted and as a drive run or mounted to other drives as well. Um, if I would like to uh, mount a tape file, I could simply let's boot the Atari computer with the option and start key pressed. Go to the S Drive Max tape selection. Go to my to my tape folder. Select the tape. Click OK. Click Start to start the emulation and enter to start and load the tape image. And now you could, uh, you do not hear the first hiss sound where, where the normal tape does when it boots uh, from tape, just waiting for the synchronization file, but then you hear the block loading or the records loading from the tape. And now a tape file is being loaded from the S Drive Max. Well, it will take some time for the uh, game to load for, from a tape. It's about 10 minutes. And uh, we don't have to wait, it will, it will load. I would like to show you how the S Drive Max can work in conjunction in serial with a normal uh, disk drive. To do so, uh, let's boot the Atari computer, switch it off, and let's let's select 
first uh, turn on the disk drive as well. I have here a floppy that I would like to copy to an image file on the S drive max. To do so, I'm going to select an image on drive two. Let's select this one. So I've mounted, I've mounted an image onto drive two. Drive one is empty because the physical drive is actually drive number one. It's drive that I'm using right now. I'm going to boot the computer. It's going to boot from the floppy drive into, let's say, sector copier. And let's do a copy from drive one to drive two. So no verification. Doesn't need to format, right band sectors. And now I'm reading from drive number one. Drive number one on the S drive max is left empty that means it goes to the second device or the first device that it sees as an active which is the physical disk drive the 10 atari 1050 drives so it reads from the drive drive one which is the physical drive and it will write to drive two which is the image file that i loaded onto my s drive max and that's it's doing it right now so to do that, you have to add a small board, small logic chip with two resistors. In the future, I will do a video that will explain how you can easily build your own S Drive Max. Simply get the Arduino board, the LCD, flash the Arduino through the USB port on a PC computer. Simply flash it and do a pretty much easy soldering to an SIO connector and you have an S Drive Max device. That's all for now. I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time, keep enjoy and play with your Atari.